And we are back with a spellbinding showdown between the Cincinnati Centaurs and the Miami Sirens. The score stands tantalizingly even at Centaurs 50, Sirens 50. For those just tuning in, it's an enchanted evening full of dives, drives, and the occasional dodge of a rogue bludger. The Centaurs Chaser Trio, Luke, Becca, and Terry, are moving with such coordination. It's like they're casting a synchronizing spell. They're zigzagging around the pitch, and oh, Luke's just passed the quaffle through a sneaky backhand to Becca. She's charging, and oh, a brilliant save by Fern Vargas, the Siren's Keeper. That man can block a quaffle faster than you can say Quidditch. And speak of the magical creatures, Natty, the siren's beater, just sent a blutter straight into Eli's path. But wait, Hannah Jensen is there. With a quick swipe, she redirects it. And poor Alex Mendoza is left dodging that furious bludger. It's like watching a dance where partners keep changing and you don't want the music to stop. Wait, what's this? A skirmish between Terry Mitchell and Rafa Ortega. Perhaps they're arguing about who has the better broom polish. The referees intervene, reminding everyone that Quidditch is a gentleman's and gentle witch's game. Two penalty shots awarded to the Centaurs. Becca Foster takes the first shot and scores. Centaur 60, Sirens 50. But wait, here comes Mariana Castillo weaving her way past the defense with an elegance that only a siren can muster. She's dancing on that broom, folks. And whoa! A clean shot! Centaur 60, Siren 60. These teams are neck and neck like a two-headed dragon on a lazy fly. And speaking of flying, Adrian Brooks and Gabby Rosario are both hot on the snitch's trail. They're chasing it like it owes them gold. No catch yet, but with these two, you never know when the game might end. Miggy Delgado, in a cunning move, has sent a bludger straight towards Centaur's reserve chaser, Gabby Ortiz. But wait, Gabby, with a twirl, avoids it, making it look like a rehearsed ballet move. This match is turning into quite the magical dance-off, if you ask me. As the clouds roll over, dimming the stadium just a smidge, we find Luke Thompson making a dash for it, heading straight for the goalposts. But out of nowhere, Lulu Rio, Siren's reserve chaser, intercepts, and hold on to your hats, she scores! Siren's take the lead. Centaur 60, Siren's 70. As the final moments for this segment draw near, the anticipation in the air is thicker than a pot of pepper up potion. The quaffle is in the air, the bludgers are in a bad mood, and the golden snitch still playing hard to get. And there goes the whistle signaling our next break. Hold on to your wands, wizards and witches, because when we return, the magic will continue. Current score, Centaur 60, Sirens 70. Don't touch that dial or you'll miss out on more magical mayhem.